Shalom, Kohalim La Yehawa Bahashim Yehawa Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Salutations be unto the hopeful elect that scattered across the earth. I miss your brother Ila coming to you with the, uh, you know, quick video, Lord willing, you know, our lesson going into, uh, you know, what was celebrated, you know, earlier, uh, you know, February 14th, so-called Valentine's Day, which really goes back to uh, um, Lupercalia, you know, which is a, a Roman custom, you know, and uh, what inspired this lesson, you know, I was in the middle of watching, uh, you know, a brother of Great Millstone, not sure what his name is, but Baraka thought of you, brother. Um, you know, uh, he was going into it, you know, through the spirit. So, you know, I kind of, <laughs> you know, kind of got, got, you know, you know, I'm driven to do it. So go into it, you know, um, but yeah, this is the brother's video, uh, women, uh, no woman, woman or women worshiping men will be cut off, right, but he goes into, uh, you know, he goes into it, right, so, um, with that, let's just briefly go into it, Lord willing, all right, so, um, you know, I got some, basically, facts pulled up, and, you know, with scriptures and stuff, because, um, you know, it's a heathen custom, bro. It's a pagan custom, you know, which we're not to uh, do after the ways of the nations, man. You know, um, we have our own high holy days, you know, we have our, we have, you know, we follow the ways of the Lord, or we ought to follow the ways of the Lord, of course, to the best of our ability, but, um, celebrating these pagan days is something simple that you can uh, not do. It's simple. It's not like, you know, to where we, you know, we wear mixed fabrics. We, you know, we aren't, we're in a, uh, we're not sovereign. We're in captivity. So there's certain laws that we can't keep, man. Which also brings out the importance of Yahweh Shai, man, our Lord. You men think that you're, uh, <clears throat> you're justified by the law. You know, a lot of you camps out there, you know, Sakari. You know, brothers have been going on, uh, getting on Sakari, you know. But, um, anyways, so, uh, it says, um, Valentine's Day originated from the ancient Roman custom that was celebrated called Lupercalia. According to Wikipedia, it states Lupercalia was a pastoral. Now I'm going to look that word up because I'm not, uh, familiar with that word. Let me look it up real quick. Hold tight, Bubba Kasha. Pastoral, especially of land or a farm, used for, uh, used for or related to the keeping or grazing of sheep or cattle. Okay. Concerning or appropriate to give in a spiritual way. All right. Um, so Lupercalia was a pastoral festival of ancient Rome, observed annually, right, on February 15th. Old type. Old type. Annually, meaning uh, once a year, every year. And Valentine's Day, so called Valentine's Day, which is Lupercalia, man. It, it's celebrated what? Oh, every year, man. <laughs> you know? So uh, the cat is out the bag, bro. You people, and you Jakes, and you Eves, and Man, you people that still partaking in this, bro, you gotta stop that shit, bro. Um, and brothers go into this, man. They go into, you know, Saturnalia, so-called Christmas. They go into these different, you know, topics every year, bro. Every year. And you still got niggas partaking in this madness, man. You know? 
the script uh the scriptures tell you matter of fact let me get um hold tight the book of romans chapter 12 and verse 2 and be not a uh, conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, right? Be not conformed, be not fashioned according to this world. Now, real quick, oh, there it is. I'm going to go to the blue letter real quick, and I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go into that word uh, um, conform. So, Romans 1 and 2. Which just is a good um tool you can use to uh you know edify. Many brothers are familiar with this, you know. Me personally, I found about um found out about the Blue Letter Bible from the um the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. Elders, apostles, and brothers of Great Millstone, you know. Which Barakatha to all Barakatha to you, sincere brother. Conform. Uh okay, so for the word conform, you know, fashion oneself according to which what? Um comply with, right? Abide by, obey, observe, follow, keep to, see? Match up to. Be in accordance with. You're not to be in accordance with the world. These different uh, so-called holidays, right? All right, but back to it. Or I could just leave it there. Um, Right, back to it. Lord willing, this is recording in my voices. You know, it can be heard and everything, man. I hope so, bro. Um, All right, when you celebrate. Oh, uh, right here. Looper, all right, um, okay. Also, Wikipedia states, Lupercus was a protector of the farmers, harvesting a pack, uh, harvesting and packs of wild animals. Every year on fe uh, 15 February, in honor of him, the Romans held Lupercalia, held the Lupercalia. When you celebrate Valentine's Day, this is, you know, I got this one. But this is the shit that you're you are exalting and partaking in, whether you know it or not. This is the origins of this. Okay. If you are a Israelite, right, and the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemalans, the Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, Argentinians, to Chileans, Colombians, to Uruguayans, and the so-called Mexicans, right? If you're um if you're an Israelite, then you are not to be celebrating Valentine's Day along with the other so-called holidays of the world, right? And, um, you know, it was brought out earlier that this is a, a heathen custom. Now, this is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the, uh, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And then, um, as it goes on, it goes into a... It, it describes basically the customs of uh, Christmas. You know how they get the tree and they put the bulbs on it and all that madness. All right, but this is Leviticus 18 and 4. Because remember, it was also brought out that we have our own high holy days, customs, and way of life, man. Which is beautiful, man. Beautiful. Right? Um, Leviticus 18 and 4, ye shall do my judgments and keep mine ordinances to walk therein. I am the Lord your God or power. Verse 5, ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. Right? So, um, quick hitter, you know, a spirit got on me, man. You know, glad to bring this out. Glad to bring this out. Um, you know, Shab Shabbat. It's the Sabbath, man. So, you know, hey, man, you know, relax, kick back, study, you know. Hey, you know. Hey, man, you know. But, um, <laughs> Lord willing, you edify. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glorification unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash.
double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Um, see you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.